In this chapter, we've focused a lot on editing objects. Every object has properties like color, line type, length, layer, and a lot more. Different object types have different properties. One way to edit or manage those traits or properties is through the Properties Manager palette. We've talked about palettes in earlier sections and we've used them a bit from time to time, but I want to take a closer look at this one because you can use the Properties palette in many cases to edit your drawing. Let's open up an example file. Let's look at the Architectural Annotation Scaling and Multi-Leaders drawing file. And we have a lot of different types of objects in here. And let's open up the Properties palette. Now it's real easy to do. Press down the Control key and the number one at the same time. Now a palette, if you left click on it on the top here and drag it around, you can reposition it. Once it's pulled out of the dock like that was, if you click on this bar, left click and hold, you can move it around. You can also stretch it so that it's taller or wider. Just depends on what you want it to do. If you click on this little button here, that'll auto hide it. And when you mouse over on it, it'll pop up. This little button here gives you different properties that will allow you to move it, to dock it left or right and anchor it, set up some transparency, etc. I typically leave it the way it is, and I typically leave it docked here on the left. So right now I have nothing selected because it says no selection, so I know this. Plus I know that I haven't selected anything either. But when I pick something, like this object here, it'll tell me what it is. It tells me it's a multi-leader object. And then it gives me general information. That tells me the color, the layer, the line type, etc. Then after the general box, and you have a little scroll bar here you can left click on and drag up and down goes the miscellaneous section, and that just gives you some overall scale items and some bit of information. And then it gets more specific. What I mean by more specific is that it has object-specific information in it, like for the leader and for the text. It tells you the context, it tells you the leader types, etc. If I scroll all the way down, I can get to even more information on my object. Now the really cool thing about the properties palette is that I can make changes to my selected objects. All right, now I have this text selected and its color is set to by layer, but I can change it as you can see here to different colors just through the properties palette. I can also change some of the other options on this. I can change that from a straight leader type to a spline. I can even change the color of the spline. And when I unselect it, I can't make the changes to it anymore, of course. And the other cool thing about the Properties palette is that if I select multiple objects, it will tell you how many objects and what type that you have selected. And I can make these changes to all of them all at the same time. Now if you have multiple objects selected that are different types of objects, it will give you just a little bit of information on here. And it will only look at the types of information that they all share. And typically that's going to be what's in the general section. So I can change the color of everything all at the same time. I can change their layers, I can change their line type, or their line type scale. Now if I have everything selected and I want to look at a specific type of object, I can click on this arrow here and it will list how many different types of objects I have of those specific types of objects. So if I want to take a look at my rotated dimension that I have selected, I can. I select it, just that one option, and I make the changes to it. And only that one object type will be changed. I can go to my lines, and I can change the colors of my lines right there, just like that. So you can see, you can make a lot of different changes to your objects through the properties palette. I always leave this open all the time on my day-to-day -day working with AutoCAD, because I can do so much with it so easily and so quickly and it provides a lot of information to me. For example, if I select this line, just that line, tells me my general information. If I scroll down, it also gives me my length, it tells me what angle it's drawn at, and I can get the coordinates for my starting and end coordinates for my points. If I have a closed object, or a hatch pattern, or a polyline, polygon, etc., it will also give me the area of that object. 